attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? Please. It's, uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Tali Zora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. We chase them off once, find a target, and I'll hit it. Our target is set, but we can't reach it yet. It's their home world. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? Quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I can't believe the species still exists. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. You set us up and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend fro system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Does knowing how the Protheans fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the Collectors or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on Protheans more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture. Closer to husks than slaves. Tools for Reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. <sighs> Must be destroyed. What is it about the Collectors' modifications that bothers you so much? 
disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw a necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. Culturally dead. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. 
Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside, C-Sec. Maybe you can nail his ass. can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them! Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear. And Fade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. I'm looking forward to seeing Harkin again. I'm sure he'll be excited to see both of us. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. No point in giving him too much time to prepare. Come on. Right behind you.
You were close, but not close enough. <laughs> So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. That had a hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want to know. Maybe. I still haven't heard what you want. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the- I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <clears throat> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. <coughs> Maybe give Seasick a blood trail to follow. Bastard! You're lucky. I wouldn't have shot you in the leg. What'd I ever do to you? Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Don't waste your time on him. Let's see sec deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. I'd do the same if I were you. I learned from the best. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis.
That was easy enough. Plain and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your Alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But... An unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite, not when the galaxy is at stake. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian.